But next up, it's the heavyweights, Brian Jennings and, of course, Joe Joyce. So thanks to these guys for the moment, and we'll get the big lads up next. <coughs> Joe Joyce, undefeated in nine. Brian Jennings, who, what is it now, four years ago, fought in the distance with uh, Vladimir Klitschko and uh, has only tasted defeat three times in his career. One of those was against uh, Luis Ortiz and then against Oscar Rivas in his last fight. He's going to be fighting Dillian White next you know, You can't pummel. You, you, could, you won't have a pummel versus pummel. You know, so if it's, it's going to be rocking side and robot, then let it be. You know, make sure you clean your head. He's not to rock and suck and what? If it's going to be rock and suck and robot. Y'all familiar with that? That might no, be that. No. Oh, it's Brian's talking about the, the thing that... Oh, okay, okay, yeah. What's in the head, head pop song? Yeah, right, yeah, that's, that's what Brian's talking about. So that's when two guys literally just stand in front of each other and literally just... And then the okay. first one... Yeah. Oh, that's entertaining, yeah. So yeah. it would be like that, yeah? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I'm just saying... You're talking about the head pop song. Yeah, or yours. Maybe. Either or. Oh, Either or. You, you know it's boxing. So yeah. please, please, please don't ignore the possibility of anything happening in that ring. Okay. That's what experience will teach you. Well, I'm I'm good. I'm ready. I've had a good camp. You know, I've done. I've been uh, in. I've been, you know, putting in the work and incorporating what Adam Bruce's been uh, teaching me and the team. I'm really excited because it's going to be such a big fight against a very credible opponent, um, Brian Jennings. He's you know very experienced and he uh, he's up for the challenge and. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We'll see what he's going to do. See if he's going to run or is he, is he going to come and uh, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, tash to dash Well, you'd think that's unlikely, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, we, we, shall, we, shall, we shall see. First three letters of a song. Go on. The first three letters of a song. Don't, don't do it. it. Oh, OK. Right. <laughs> don't, don't, don't become it. So, you know, don't assume. Just go out there and, you know, I know Adam, Adam has a thing for me, you know. Um, 2014, I beat Mike Perez. Mike Perez was pretty much supposed to beat me. You know, Adam tried his best to try to do everything that, you know, he wanted Mike to do to be able to defeat me, and Mike didn't, so hopefully, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm you listen. better than Mike Perez. I mean, I get that. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not comparing you to Mike Perez. I'm saying the fact that, you know, uh, I mean, you're not better than Mike Perez. Mike Perez is one of the. Mike yeah, Perez is one yeah, of the I'll most rate, technical rate guys. Yeah, I Mike Perez. No, he's one of the most technical guys. I mean, not to take yeah, away from him, we understand you're bigger, you're taller. Boxing, so yeah, we understand yeah. you're bigger, you're taller, and you might punch harder. But as far as like the technical aspect, Mike Perez is a. Is a yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Cuban boxer. Yeah, yeah, he's a Cuban boxer. But what I'm saying is that Adam, Adam. Me and Adam had a little history, and I know Adam okay. wants this. I know Adam wants this. So did, he tell you that? Yet, huh? did he tell you that? No, nah, but um, I'm quite sure he does. That's probably why, I, you know, I, I knew he trained you, but that, that's that's okay, so like one nil to you. But now it's uh, now it's time for redemption. And well, no, I mean, no, it's, it's just, it might be personal for him. So you know, in that aspect, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it even more serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, uh, if that's what you think. No, no. It's, I mean, it's real. I beat one of his fighters in 2014. Are you trying to overcomplicate it? I'm just gonna come in with my with my simpleton big uh, <laughs> big guy juggernaut. It's just gonna be coming at you on Saturday night. So uh, you just don't need to think of all the ins and outs. You just need to deal with the punches that are gonna be coming at you. Right. Right, because of you, my mum calls me psycho. So. Dang. <laughs> Have you been sparring Marius Wack for this fight? Nah, nah, I sparred Marius. FA, FA, Jaguar, who else? Uh, nah, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but nah, I haven't sparred Marius. No, I've watched a couple of these fights. I've watched a couple of them. I haven't have been sparring Marius since, uh, nah. since he was getting ready for Big Baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, Marius can't handle me at all. Yeah, Marius, come on now. Stuck in the mud, isn't he? I mean, whoo. I walked. I walked in off the. I walked in off the block, off the corner. You know, in Philly. You know, in, in America, we have corners. You know, we used to stay in the lingo on. Took the call. I was like, damn, yeah, you want to work up in Newark? How many rounds? This went up there, boom, worked it. It was good. To be fair, I'd sit on Joe's shoulders and beat Marius Swag. <laughs> you sitting on Joe's shoulders anyway, so. <laughs> I'd be a big man if that was the case. I'd be a big, big old. You probably just sit a little bit, but you know, you sit on Joe's shoulders. I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm pleased you're here anyway. Any more for any more?
Cheers, chaps. <laughs> 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 